Printing flexible filament is sometimes annoying. Um, it's obviously flexible. Yeah. Um, the hazard of printing with flexible filament is that as the extruder, motor, gears, etc., try and push the filament in, it wants to bend and flop around. Probably not saying anything that nobody already doesn't know. But so then the question becomes what do you do about it? I've tried to print flexibles on my CR10 and it never really ended well. Um, it would basically, I never really had a blowout of filament where it just started spaghettiing and popped out of the gears or anything. But part of this is a CR10 by default is a Bowden system and you get additional nozzle or pressures, I should say, by pushing through the Bowden tube. And so now you're not only trying to push this filament through, get, that gets all kinked up, and as it's going in, it'll actually start essing a little bit if you, in, in all the space and the gaps, and, and it ends up creating quite a bit of pressure and, and tension and, and friction. Um, so because of that, I would get a lot of skipping. Um, where either the motor itself would start skipping or more often it was the uh, it would just let go and start grinding through the filament. Um, kind of a hazard of the Bowden setup. It, there's a lot of ways of working around it. I know there's tons of people out there that do just fine with it and figure it out. They're better people than me. Um, I, I've kind of struggled with it on, on this tool. Um, so now beyond that, I ended up going originally to a hot Swiss all metal nozzle um, and not really for flexibles, but for some other reasons. I never really went well. Ended up having to go back to the default nozzle and hot end, I should say. And then I ended up upgrading to the E3V6. And it seems to work really, really well, but it did absolutely nothing to help me with the uh, harder to print filaments. Um, I was still getting kind of extra nozzle pressure, I think, and it was causing grinding through the filaments. Um, tried everything, heating it up really well, et cetera, et cetera. So anywho, part the point of this video is to kind of talk about some of the ways you can do it and some of the neat things that I came across um, that I'll be trying on the CR10. So I'm Ron, and this is my place. So you stuck around. I appreciate it. The first thing I did when I, I was on my quest to print flexibles is I ended up getting the Capricorn tubes. Um, I have some over there, but I ended up putting Capricorn on there and the Capricorn is a Bowden tube, high quality PTFE tube that is actually slippery. It, it, it basically reduces friction. And because I reduced the friction, the, int the intent was that it was going to then re relieve enough of the friction that it was going to reduce the pressures and I would stop skipping uh, and grinding through the filament. Nice idea. Seems like it's good stuff. Didn't help at all. I really saw very little difference. I did notice a difference when loading and unloading filament, though. That worked well. So it definitely does what it's supposed to do. It just wasn't enough for my purposes. Um... So then I started looking around and what I found next was I decided to start messing with the extruder itself and came up with an upgrade, if you will, where I got to print out a piece for myself. And it really what it is, is if you have the gear and you have the bearing, you don't want to have any space for the filament to, to get out anywhere. So you put a piece in that allows a little PTFE tube to get up really close to the gear so you have a straight path out down into your Bowden tube. Um, and this is what I found out. Okay, so that's kind of a weird camera setup, but this is the top of the extruder on the CR10. And what I found is, first off, you can see that it's kind of a weird cover, and part of this cover was on the CR10, the filament would come in really close to the to lead screw here and you don't want your filament dragging on the lead screw um, 
so there was originally an upgrade that I don't see laying around here that mounted right here and unfortunately started wearing a slot in the extruder uh, lever here. So this one, all it does, as you can see, is when it comes in, all it does is has a little PTFE tube that actually guides the filament in to here. As you can see, this is the drive gear and this is the bearing. The filament is coming through this way. And since it's coming in this way, it's going to go through these gear and, and the uh, bearing here and push into the PTFE tube. I printed this blue piece here and there's a little piece of PTFE tube that's in here that actually is wedge shaped and actually guides the filament from the gears into the Capricorn tube, Bowden tube that's there. It worked okay. I don't really seem to be seeing any major problems, but again, it didn't really help me. It keeps your filament from popping out here, but that really wasn't my issue. So in the big picture, it didn't help. So I was looking for more. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, I mean, it worked okay. It printed just fine, but it didn't do the piece that I was looking for, which was flexibles and to stop the skipping. Um, and I started actually getting some skipping on other harder to print things as well. And I always kind of questioned if it was the clogs and stuff like that. But I mean, this has been going on for quite a while. And I know the difference between a clog and, and just nozzle pressure. And it was, it was definitely not a clog and doing lots of cold pulls and all that. Never, never really found anything. So I kept looking for other op options and ideas. And the first thing I ended up going with Bond Tech. So you can actually see, you know, Bond Tech. And what Bond Tech is, is a system that basically is a dual gear system. And if you can see whoa, in here, you can see not only this gear here, but deeper inside there, you see the second gear. And the filament will come into the side here. And when it comes out here, it's basically being smashed and held in place by two solid drive gears that are put in place, if I could actually hang on to them, by an adjustable thumb screw that's going to basically smash the gears together and force the filament to go out. So if I have any hopes of getting good, solid, flexible printing out of the CR-10, I really think this is it. Because you can see this gear here actually is driven by this drive gear that goes onto the extruder motor, a little, just a normal NEMA 17. So one major benefit to this is it's a plug and play. It can either be used with a, um, E3V6 directly on it, and it actually sandwiches in there, and um, it seems like it'd be pretty cool to be turn it into a direct drive system, but if I want to stay Bowden system, I can just pop this on top of the NEMA 17, and then the Capricorn will come out of this point. Um, and that's the plan, and that's the main one that I'm going to be testing uh, on my next video. So that's one thing. That's how to just drive it harder and faster. The other one, which I alluded to, in a little previous video is the Flexion. The Flexion extruder is pretty nifty and neat. It's basically dedicated to flexible filaments. And it, this is it in all its glory. This was a gift from my daughter actually, um, which is pretty dang awesome. Now this one, the main purpose of these Flexion extruders is they'll replace some it'll end up similar to what I did uh, before it's a single gear this piece will actually go onto the top of the NEMA 17 and the filament's going to feed through here and come out the bottom now the difference is it's also 
it's going to basically have this, which is going to screw into the motor. And as this piece rotates, you'll see little numbers. I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not. Um, you can see little tiny numbers on the top. Yeah, see how they're, they're numbered there? And it flashes by as it focuses. I hate focus. Anyway, um, it's adjustable one through four, which will adjust the tension of the, the bearing to the um, drive gear here. And it'll see how hard it smashes the filament. To, and if you'll notice, there's no space. This this piece down here, that's where the filament comes out. And they have a piece of metal wedge that will actually immediately pick up the filament and then pull it out and go on its merry way. Also, they have a brush that, as it's rotating, it cleans out all the teeth of the bearing or of the gear. So it always keeps a nice, clean um, set of teeth for it to grip into the filament. So that and then this is an E3V6 setup. So the idea behind it is this is all going to attach with the motor and I'll end up converting the system from a Bowden tube to a direct drive. Um, so basically when in the end of all of this, I'll end up with a direct drive system on a CR10 instead of the Bowden system. And they come up with they come with all the, the tube and even comes with four nozzles and a spare brush. So anywho, that's gonna be my plan. Is I'm I already started the first step. That didn't work out so hot. I'm gonna try now to keep it a Bowden system. I'm gonna try the Bontech extruder, I think, because it's the simplest upgrade. So we're gonna pop this one in. And once this is popped on We'll test that out a little bit, see how it does. And uh, I think at that point it's going to work. But after a bit, I'll probably go to the next step and put the Flexion on and convert it over to a, uh, a direct drive. So I don't know. That's the plan. I just thought it would be interesting to be able to see all the different types of extruders. And there's other options as well out there, but those are the kind of the big fancy ones that are uh, everybody kind of talks about. So anywho, hopefully you'll get something out of that. Um, now you've at least seen the Flexion, a Bontech, and then a printable version from Thingiverse. Uh, all different options, all interesting. The one with the Flexion, I ended up having to, uh, I found a... Uh, bracket that'll end up working and I had to I ended up asking and they gave me the STL so or the uh, step file so I could actually put the a, uh, easy ABL sensor mount on it as well so that's all printed out in pet G and standing by for when I decide to put it on so thanks for coming and watching everything hopefully you got something out of it and you have a happy holiday